Hey, how's it going? Hope you've been well. Back with another episode of Stuff and Things. It's a good combo of the intros there. It's both <laughs> of us today. <laughs> What's up, guys? Anyway, this, I think we're filming the video that's going on my channel yeah. now. So, this is Tal and Sai. If you don't know, we've been doing videos together off and on for years, but he's spending a lot of time out in Colorado right now. Yep. So, we'll probably keep doing more and more videos together, honestly. Uh, and this video we're gonna talk about EDC. We're both kind of gear guys and adventure guys and whatnot, but like historically have been pretty heavy in the EDC crowd, probably. Yeah, when I first got that EDC bug, I was carrying all sorts of stuff, like trying new things all the time. But since then, I think both of us have sort of narrowed down to only what we use, only what we really like. Yeah, and it's kind of like earlier on in the, especially the content creator, days I think you're like well I just made an EDC video like three months ago I gotta make another one so I gotta like carry some different things and make another video but we both don't do EDC videos much anymore because mm -hmm. we pretty much have our systems dialed so even like the last EDC video I did I think I was like yeah I don't think anything has changed so if you watch the last one it's basically the same one and that's still holds true today like the last yeah. time I did an EDC video was Literally a year ago, I did a winter EDC update and it really hasn't changed. Like, yeah, at all. my stuff doesn't change that often. And like day to day, maybe sometimes I'll want to carry a different knife or something. But mm -hmm. for the most part, it's pretty, pretty stable now. Uh, and for those of you that have no idea what EDC is, it just stands for everyday carry. So the stuff that you carry, this video is just going to be stuff we carry on body every day. And like, we really carry this stuff. Yeah. every day so it's not like we don't have a bunch of inflated crap that we're throwing in here it's just scary stuff so we're gonna kind of this is gonna be a casual talking kind of longer format video probably where we just pull out an item I'll pull out like what knife I carry and talk about it, and Talon will do his and then we'll do wallet and he'll do his or I don't know so I don't know maybe start with knife knife we yeah. kind of have our guns out on the table here but we'll get to those in a sec I think yeah um, so for knife, you guys, if you guys watch my channel, you already know I carry a Leatherman Skeletool. Uh, and it is just because I do a lot of stuff working on vehicles and doing holster adjustments and whatnot. So I like having some tools on hand all the time because I use them all the time. And it's easy for me just to get this out and, you know, maybe something has a Phillips head and just tighten it real quick without having to go over to my drawer and get a get a screwdriver. And this one I've had for probably six years, five or six years mm -hmm. now, and dropped it hundreds of times. And it just, it doesn't even look that beat up, honestly. This one's kind of got the Damascus blade. Actual Damascus, not like, I know they make a Leatherman Skeletal with like a Damascus look mm -hmm. blade, but this is like an actual, uh, back in the day when Texas Tool Crafters was making Damascus blades for these. So this is a Le Leatherman Skeletal CX, but kind of a special edition. And sometimes I carry other knives, I show them in other videos, but this is the one that like 99% of the time is in my pocket. Yeah, after hearing your story about that, uh, another friend of mine carries one and swears by it. I bought one while I was on the road yeah. and I carried it for a little while. I did use the pliers like once or twice. Yeah, not that often though, you're saying. Yeah, not that often. And my thing with knives is I like simplicity and like fidget factor as well. Cause yeah. I probably play with my knives even more than I actually use them. So out of everything in my EDC, the pocket knife is the thing that always changes the most because I got a big collection and I'm into knives. So in my pocket for the past, I don't know, month or so now, I have the ProTec SBR. This is a black aluminum body S35 VN blade. Mike's got one too right over here. Uh, it's a Les George design. I love ProTech. I was actually able to visit them at their new facility. Yours is and cooler than mine. No, that's the one that I wanted. I wanted the acid wash blade. Uh, that thing's even cooler. Hold them up here. There we go. So Mike's got the acid wash blade. I got the black DLC blade. Both really cool knives though. I like this one because of the fidget factor, because it's pro tech it action. It has some command on it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you can't really beat a, an auto from pro tech. Um, and then the size, it's maybe a little bit on the smaller side for me, but it's been in my pocket for a while now and I love 
everything that ProTech does. So that's the thing that changes the most in my EDC setup. Yeah, and some of you guys might think I'm kind of a knife guy. Talon's much more of a knife guy. So if you're into knives, he does he does a lot of knife videos. He has a, a much bigger collection than I do even. Yeah. So it's cool to see his knives kind of change and evolve as he's carrying them. He always gives me a little bit of knife envy when he shows me what he's carrying, but. Cool, so yeah, fidget factor, it's, I think it's important. When I carry a knife, it's a knife that I like to play with. Yeah. And the Leatherman's just kind of like That's strictly business. utilitarian. Yeah. And you do like work on your truck a lot, you're adjusting holsters like you said. Yeah, and so I'm doing all sense. kinds of stuff. Like, yeah, I got a random life. Sometimes, like I have chicken coop and I have fencing around my property and sometimes I'll just get my pliers out and you know, fix a wire or something like that, so. Yeah. I use it a fair bit. What's next? I don't know. I'll just go in my right pocket since that's kind of where my my yeah. knife is. So I wear these. These are the, I don't know if you can tell, these are the Vertex Delta Stretch. These are the 2.1. So I know a lot of you guys have been asking me to do an update video on the latest gen. These are like a green color, pretty cool. So I'm gonna just kind of go as I have them oriented in pockets. And yeah. we'll just do that. Sounds easy. This is my newest edition. <laughs> This is the new, the new Sat Van patch. So this is the new Sat Van patch. Uh, Talon will be selling this on his site at some point, but I don't actually carry this every day. He just gave it to me. Yeah, I might be one of the first ones with it. I got the white Land Cruiser in the Ooh, headliner yeah. of my van already. Um, I carry chapstick usually. It's kind of dry. And then I carry, you carry a Travax as well. Mm -hmm. Actually, I think Talon kind of introduced me a little bit to Travax. Sorry, it's hard with two faces that want to get focus yeah. on. So I carry this little Travax. What's this one called again? It's called the Summit. The Summit. So this is their cheapest wallet. Talon and I both yeah. have coupon codes for, uh, I'll put all the coupon codes and links and stuff down in the description, but Talon Psy is your coupon code? Talon Psy 10. 10% off. 10, yeah, I don't know mine. We'll put, <laughs> we'll put them down below. We'll, we'll figure Anyways, out. I like this wallet because it's just super, super minimal. And I've tried all of the Travax wallets, and this one is the easiest to access a single card. Mm -hmm. So it's just the quickest. So it's the smallest, the cheapest, and the quickest for me. So I'm usually using just one card to you know fill up gas or whatever, and so it just slides right out, super easy out here or I usually have my driver's license in the back because it's the other one I'll use, but I don't want you guys to see my info. So I got my Costco card in there. So the Summit, Tree of Actions, comes in all kinds of colors. Yeah. But this is just the OD band strap. And then Talon kind of has a little fancier. Yeah. One, really. So He's a pretty big, Talon's a pretty major collaborator with Travax. Yeah, I, I've been following their company since I found them on Kickstarter, like when they first got their start. So mm -hmm. I have, since like fallen in love with their product. They make such a good product with a 65 year heirloom warranty. Yeah, made um, in America, up in Washington. Yeah, just Very a cool. really good company. I stand behind a lot of their products. I'm actually wearing one of their belts right now too. So the Summit is the cheapest and the most minimal. This is the Contour that I'm carrying and this is the most expensive, but it's also still fairly simple. So in the front there, you can see that I actually have a beard comb in there. It's metal CNC with uh, leather on the back. This is actually a custom one, it has my logo on it there, my signature logo. So same thing as that, it just has a little latch to open up there. You can adjust it if you want it to be able to be holding more cards. And then you sort of like flip through the cards there and pull them out, slap them back in, money in the back. Uh, I try a lot of wallets. I have a stupid wallet collection. Same. <laughs> and I always go back to Travax products for sure, but I typically always land on this specific contour. I've had this thing for like three years and it's just holding up yeah. really well. And they're just, I like their products because they're just, they're metal and that one has some leather or, yeah. you know, like some Cordura type strap. And I just, something about me just likes kind of the, weathering of metal and leather and that kind of stuff. And yeah, as far as I know, I, I you know, I work with them a little bit as well. Great company from everything Towns told me. So what's next? I have my cell phone just went off, so I don't know. Do you cover cell phone in your videos? I like touch on it briefly yeah. and then people are like, iPhone, Android, woo, woo. <laughs> Which I per personally I like Android better. 
I do uh, too. But I have an iPhone just Same. because I, I do, as a creator, like you do a lot of collaborative stuff and AirDrop everyone says that AirDrop, iMessage is just very good. If I can send talent a full size video through iMessage, it's better than getting like a granulated cross platform video sent to Android or whatever and group chats. Yeah. And, so I like Android phones better, but. I use an iPhone. Same. We don't even need to get into it more. I. But you have pop sockets a, that you yeah, use. Yeah, I have a pop socket. This is like an aluminum one that I used to sell in my store. Um, I use that to like mount my phone in my vehicle mm -hmm. and whatever. Yeah, and we don't even have Phone's the latest phone. greatest. I have an iPhone 11 Pro. I got, I got the 10 yeah, Max Max. And yeah, so we don't even have like the 12. I guess is that now. I guess. So phones, yeah, and then, I don't know, people ask a lot of times, like, what, can you do a video on, like, the apps on your phones? But I don't think I ever will. I did that but one time, and it was you? just weird. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it, I mean, I use social media for what we do. And yeah, then... you know, I have some, like, editing tools and yeah. some, yeah, creator studio type stuff. And, but Adobe Suites and then, like, off-road yeah, some Places maps, some downloads some maps, maps and yeah. stuff like that. But yeah, I mean, pretty, you know, we use phones like anyone else, I think. And then I, I got a flashlight. So I have this, I've talked about it in a couple of videos. This is the Olight Warrior, uh, the Warrior Mini. I like a lot of features about it because it has the admin modes here. So low, medium, high, moonlight, ultra low lumen. And then it's got your tactical tail switch on the end so you have momentary or constant and it's a good form factor so I like it because it kind of it kind of has my tactical needs taken care of but has all the admin stuff and different light settings and it has a magnet on the back so you can stick it to the side of a car or whatever yeah I never played with that but this is kind of the light that you wanted for the longest time and I mean it makes sense like I like having both switches especially the tail cap because I, I previously carried like the S2R baton too yeah whatever that is whatever and so, it didn't have the tail cap didn't have the tail cap so because of what I do like I honestly don't go out at night very often yeah so I don't carry a light I find myself carrying a light less and less the only light that I do have is my keys and this is the only other thing that I have in my pocket I carry knife wallet gun phone keys so on my keys I do have an Olight this is the IREOS it has a ton of wear on it because this thing has been on my keys for like a year or more at this point it's probably dead actually Twist it, low it's mode, twist it, high mode. Yeah, as far as pocket keychain lights, it's a pretty good one. Yeah, it's just, it's USB rechargeable. Yeah, exactly, I do need to recharge it. Um, and that's all that I really use. I used to like the little, I forget what it is, the i3T? Oh yeah, yeah, that little one. The really I3T, small one, I think. Similar to the Streamlight MicroStream. Yeah. Don't get me wrong, carrying a flashlight is super handy. Like there are so many times where I'll pull out my phone and use the light of my phone and I'll pull out and use this thing, but maybe I should get back into carrying a pocket light. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, so Talon, if you don't know, Talon lives in his van also. So he's got flashlights like right on the entry door and stuff. So yeah. if you hear something outside, he just grabs one and shines it out. So it's like when you have your house literally with you all the time, mm -hmm. he has kind of everything with him. So I kind of get not carrying that stuff. But yeah, it's another one of those things where you guys hate me saying it, but I live in the mountains and have dogs and mountain lions. So I like just always having a flashlight in case I need to see what's yeah. going on, so. On that same subject too, with like always having my vehicle with me because I'm basically living in it. You're either here at your house or you're overlanding where you have a ton of gear. Yeah. When we have our vehicles with us, we have all this other stuff that some people claim that they carry, but honestly, most people have it off body in a backpack or in a vehicle yeah. like medical. Yeah. I do have medical stuff in my van. I have food, water, I have everything in my van. It's my house. Yeah. Um, but that's not something that I carry on my immediate person. I've minimalized everything like I said, I only carry really five things now, and that's just what works for me, and it has been working like that for the past, like, two years now. Yeah, and same for me. I have medical full 
full IFAX and everything in all my vehicles, which I always have nearby. If I go hiking or whatever, I take a hiking bag that has some medical, medical in it and stuff. But yeah, I mean, a lot of people are like, you don't carry a tourniquet? I'm like, dude, I don't know a single per. There's a lot of people that claim, and I'm not gonna name names or anything, there's a lot of people that claim they carry medical and they make videos about it and none of them do. Like, very few of them do. Not to say it's a bad idea. If you have cargo pockets or if you like wearing an ankle kit or whatever, like, dope. Yeah. I just, I haven't worked it into my system because I always have stuff nearby. So that's something, you know, I think carrying medical is justifiable, mm -hmm. but, you get, you, I can't, I'm not gonna carry the whole kitchen sink with me, so. It depends on what you're doing too. Like if I have a backpack, like I, I did an EDC backpack video one time and uh -huh. I was constantly going to my range to film firearm content. And then I was, I had a mini IFAC that mm -hmm. I was legit carrying in my backpack. It wasn't in my pockets and I didn't even think about it. It was just there. Yeah. But yeah, I just like keeping it as simple as possible now. And yeah. That's what I'm into. And I'll have a bag with me. Like, I, like, whenever I fly, I have a bag and I keep medical gear in it. If I go to the range, I have a bag and I keep medical gear in it. And if I'm going anywhere that seems like it could potentially get sketch, sometimes I'll bump my EDC up a little bit, mm -hmm. situationally dependent. But this is kind of the base level, the base level kit we're talking about. Um, and then we'll get into some, we got some guns here. And then, but real quick, so I, I wear a belt. This is a Blue Alpha belt that I actually sell. So I have a collaboration with them, the EDC Hybrid. So I sell this on my website. It's just the favorite belt I've found. I love the Cobra buckles. This one has a small lines now. Yeah, woo. <laughs> so this one has Cobra, so it's just super easy and slides through the belt clips. Um, and that's just what I've been using forever. Um, Mine, power. like I mentioned, it's a Trayvax belt. It's a Trayvax cinch. This was actually a collab that I did with them, sold them on their site. Mm -hmm. It's just super, super simple. It's just a piece of aluminum that is like cut out. And then it's nylon scuba webbing essentially goes through and literally cinches closed. Yeah. I like this because it, um, allows my belt line to move a little bit. It's not super rigid where it's mm -hmm. same as that actually. Some of the Cobra, like really tactical belt buckles yeah, this one's are not, too hard. Yeah, some of them have like super rigid lining and internal yeah. stuff. And it's basically, like, conceptually it sounds good. Like, oh yeah, you're carrying all this extra gear and this and that, but it's super uncomfortable. So yeah, all this day. is a Cobra belt and it's relatively stiff, like totally stiff enough, but not to the point where it's like uncomfortable. Yeah. So. So I think that's important. Kind of one of those things where you test a lot of tactical belts and whatnot, and you're just like, frick this one. Yeah. So find something that works for you. Uh, but yeah, uh, carrying a gun like a belt is usually t typically pretty important. So depending on the holster you're carrying and the gun you're carrying and the setup, you typically do want a belt that at least has some type of wet. I mean, it could be leather, it could be a nylon webbing, but you want something to help hold your pants on and something for your clip or your loop or whatever to strap to. A little more rigid. Yeah. So for guns here, I guess I'll start here. So a lot of the time I'll carry a Glock 19. So this is a little bit tricked out. It's a Landers, uh, Landers setup with milled slide and stippling and some trigger guard stuff. Cool. So guns cleared. We're good. Don't freak out too much. So this is it. This is my 19. Uh, again, it's got an RMR on it. Olight PL Mini, the old one, which I actually like a little more. And it's got slide serrations and milling and everything. Uh, Cerakoted by Mad Customs. And I have a little Magwell, Mag, Magpool Magwell on there, which is really my favorite, super low profile Magwell. And then I run a holster company, for those that don't know, so LLOD.US is where I sell holsters. So this is actually, I do testing of my own holsters. So this was the first final prototype production holster that I've just been using ever since. This is before I upgraded to the new like matte multicam. So this is a really old holster, but I like to do long-term testing on my holsters just to make sure they're good and durable and whatever. So this is like the first PL Mini 1 holster I made that has my little charging port that I invented kind of, but a lot of other people are doing now. So Glock 19 with the 17 round mag backup uh, and I carry Federal HST 
standard pressure, 147 grain in all my carry guns. Uh, I just bought, you know, like 2,000 rounds of it sometimes. So that's dope. And then the other gun I carry also in one of my holsters. So this holster, if you're wondering, is called the Associate. It is a gun plus mag combo. Has like, I'm gonna point this at myself, but don't worry. <laughs> it's got a bend to it and a single clip. And yeah. So this is a 43X. I got IDOT sights on here. Other than that, it is a very stock pistol. But if you want a tricked out one, Talon has his in a second here. So this also is the first final production run prototype of this uh, 43X holster I did a long time ago. So I carry one of those. I find myself carrying the 43X a lot now, um, especially ever since I started carrying this light that has a little more tactical applications. You know, you could do gun and light. Uh, I like carrying a weapon light, but a small gun with no weapon light is super, super comfortable and conceals crazy, crazy nicely. Uh, and these 43Xs I like a lot. Mm -hmm. I have another 43X set up with these uh, S15 mags, mm -hmm. which Talon's carrying right now. Uh, and for the most part, people have been happy with them. Yeah. There's been some issues. I haven't had issues with mine yet, but I haven't put enough rounds through it to like make it my carry setup yet just because I haven't been shooting a ton because COVID and ammo apocalypse and everything. But mm -hmm. I really like the 43X um, and it's been great for me. But yeah. yeah, so I love the 43X as well. I was on a mission, I think this started like a year ago um, to design my own version of the perfect EDC gun. When the 43X came out, I loved it immediately for everything that Mike just talked about. I mean, it's just super comfortable, slim line and everything. So I took that and I made it the basis for my signature pistol. So this is the TS43X. We did an exclusive run of 100 of these, so they're not available anymore. But thanks to anyone who jumped on that when you did. Mm -hmm. um, I designed everything from the slide to the different frame textures on here. I decided to go with the best optic at the time um, since I actually put this together. For some, the small ones, for the thin ones, yeah. Yeah, because this is sort of a single stack, but holds more. Um, I have the RMSC on here. Hasn't given me any issues. I'm not beating the crap out of this gun. It's just an everyday carry gun. Apex trigger, like I said, I did the texturing and everything all through my friends at Danger Close Armament. So that's the gun. You can find out more about that elsewhere if you're more interested in it. Um, like Mike said, the S15 mags, same ammo, except I have the 124 grain mm -hmm. Federal HSTs. I have two mags of this because I'm actually using one of Mike's holsters. Mike made me this holster back in June, I think, when I came to visit. Yeah. Back in the summertime. And... The reason I actually love this holster so much is because it's a single clip design. When you have um, this style holster where you have an extra mag on the side and they have two clips on them, it doesn't allow the holster to move with your body. Single clip does, so that's why I like it a lot. As you like lift your legs, if you're hiking or something, the holster sort of shifts around with you. And I think that is a really good idea. It makes it super comfortable. Mike's holsters also have the footprint way smaller than pretty much everyone else, so the mag is super close to the gun, which I prefer. Um, yeah, it doesn't take up a whole lot of waistline belt belt yeah. space, and yeah, it's just a minimal holster. Uh, I, and, I, know, I, I really told, like them. Sold tens of thousands of them by now, and people love them out in the wild. So the, the the main concern with the holsters is people think like the single clip is my gun going to be all like crooked and screwed up when I go to draw it. And the answer is no, like the, the shape of it and your body shape and how you're positioned, just it's pretty much always upright mm -hmm. unless you're in some weird position that it's like tweaked a little bit, in which case it's not so far off that drawing it is like difficult yeah. at all. Um, so there's not really any concerns about that stuff, but, but yeah, I don't know. Anything else? That's my entire EDC. That's everything i literally carry every single day it's been the same for that's it over a year we're both wearing crocs right now <laughs> yeah so we edc we're edc, EDC in some crocs. crocs the anti-croc croc club oh yeah you got that Let's see 
anti croc croc clubs. Yeah. Nice little pin you got on there. Crocs, sponsor us, please. <laughs> yeah, Crocs. <laughs> yeah, I guess I'll do an EDC video on my channel, just sort of blast through like we did here, but even quicker. Yeah. Because my videos are longer than talents typically. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, maybe we'll do it when we go camping. So Mike and I are actually about to go caravan out into the mountains yep. and do a little bit of winter camping. It's not snowing or anything. The weather's not bad. But. Yeah, so I think we're going to go out... Uh, Talon's Ashley is in town. Ashley and Ashley are actually upstairs, probably hanging out right now. Mm -hmm. uh, so my Ashley is gonna stay home with the dogs because my dog just got surgery and my other one pukes all over the place in the car. <laughs> so we gotta get that figured out. So I'll probably go solo in one of the rigs, maybe the Land Cruiser, and then they're gonna go skiing tomorrow yeah. morning. So we're gonna go camp and try and find a spot that we can get to. And yeah, again, Talon Sai, check him out. I'll link him down below and you know, maybe maybe up, up here or something. Uh, and then he'll do a he'll do an EDC video as well. And then we'll probably do we'll probably each do like a camping video. And then Talon will be around for a bit still in Colorado, so we'll do plenty of other videos. So as always, feel free to comment down below and let us know what kind of videos you want to see or would be interested in. Uh, I know a lot of people want us to do like a Sunday gun day or some shooting videos or whatever, which we probably will, we could, honestly. Yeah, we could make it happen. Uh, at some point. It's just uh, ammo. Ammo issues. But I got ammo. We could do it. We'll figure it out. And then maybe Talon will help me put some gun videos on my gun channel. <laughs> we can we can try. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. Cool. All right. Well, I think that's it. I hope you enjoyed this EDC video. I know mine literally like hasn't really changed much, so hope you enjoyed it. Me either. Yeah. Until next time, guys. Take care.